O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Eternal Father, loving God, who made us from the dust of earth, transform us by the Spirit's grace, give value to our little world. Prepare us for that day of days, when Christ from heaven will come with might, to call us out of dust again our bodies glorified in light. O Godhead, here untouched, unseen, all things created bear your trace, the seed of glory sown in man will flower when we see your face. Armed with justice, which is the power of God, let us prove ourselves with great patience. I call with all my heart, Lord, hear me. I will keep your commands. I call upon you, save me, and I will do your will. I rise before dawn and cry for help. I hope in your word. My eyes watch through the night to ponder your promise. In your love, hear my voice, O Lord. Give me life by your decrees. Those who harm me unjustly draw near. They are far from your law. But you, O Lord, are close. Your commands are truth. Long have I known that your will is established forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Armed with the justice which is the power of God, let us prove ourselves with great patience. O Lord, avenging God, avenging God, appear. Judge of the earth, arise, give the proud what they deserve. How long, O Lord, shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? They bluster with arrogant speech, the evildoers boast to each other. They crush your people, Lord, they afflict the ones you have chosen. They kill the widow and the stranger, and murder the fatherless child. And they say, The Lord does not see, the God of Jacob pays no heed. Mark this, most senseless of people, fools, when will you understand? Can he who made the ear not hear? Can he who formed the eye not see? Will he who corrects nations not punish? Will he who teaches men not have knowledge? And the Lord knows the thoughts of men. He knows they are no more than a breath. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Armed with the justice which is the power of God, let us prove ourselves with great patience. Happy the man whom you teach, O Lord, whom you train by means of your law. To him you give peace in evil days, while the pit is being dug for, dug for the wicked. The Lord will not abandon his people, nor forsake those who are his own. For judgment shall again be just, and all true hearts shall uphold it. Who will stand up for me against the wicked? Who will defend me from those who do evil? If the Lord were not to help me, I would go down into the silence. When I think I have lost my foothold, your mercy, Lord, holds me up. When cares increase in my heart, your consolation calms my soul. Can judges who do evil be your friends? They do injustice under cover of law. They attack the life of the just and condemn innocent blood. As for me, the Lord will be a stronghold. My God will be the rock where I take refuge. He will repay them for their wickedness. Destroy them for their evil deeds. The Lord our God will destroy them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Armed with the justice which is the power of God, let us prove ourselves with great patience. 
with almsgiving, with mercy to the poor, for your fault and wrongdoing may commence. It may be God will condone your guilt. My sacrifice is a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn, O God. Let us pray. Support us, Lord, as with this Lenten fast we begin our Christian warfare, so that in doing battle against the spirit of evil, we may be armed with the weapon of self-denial. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace. Thanks be to God.